Hey, what's up, Walter here, and I have a new and improved tutorial on how to slice up your comics for Webtoon. All right, you can either use GIMP or Photoshop to slice up your images for Webtoon, um, but if you can't afford Photoshop, then you can afford GIMP because GIMP is free. Um, and it's just as easy to use as Photoshop, but you're gonna have to do a couple little extra steps up front to get the tools installed for GIMP. Okay, so straight out of the box, GIMP isn't gonna be able to slice up the files the way we need it to. Luckily, it's super easy to install the tools that we're gonna to need to do it. So I scoured the internet and I was able to find two scripts that we need. Uh, so I went ahead and zipped these up and put them up on my server so you can download them from walterosley.com slash tools slash GIMP underscore slice underscore scripts dot zip. Um, I'll put the link down below so you don't have to type all that stuff. Okay, so download the file, unzip it, take those two scripts, and then all you're going to have to do is put those into the GIMP script directory. Now this is going to be different for everybody's computer, so the easiest way to find it is going to be to open up GIMP, go to edit, go down to preferences, and then on the left hand side you'll see folders. Go ahead and click the plus symbol to expand that and then go down to the scripts folder and it's going to show you the scripts folder. There might be two options there, one under your username and then another one under program files. I prefer the program files one um, just because I like it being system wide. So go ahead and highlight the program files one or whichever one you want and then click the folder cabinet icon and that will open up the directory. This will open up the folder uh, where your scripts folder is. So double click and go into the scripts folder and then copy and paste the scripts that we downloaded into this directory. Now you might get some message about like you need to be an administrator. So hopefully you have admin rights on your computer. If you don't, then you probably need to contact your administrator or you shouldn't be installing this on a computer you don't have admin rights to. Uh, but that's besides the point. So you copy over the folders, you're good to go. Go back to GIMP, and then you're gonna wanna go to Filter, Script Foo, and Refresh Scripts. Okay, so that, that is the installation. We should be good to go. The way you double check is by going to Image, Guide, and then you should see a new guide every X pixels. So that's one of the tools we installed. The next one should be under File and then Save All. So those two should be in there. If they're not in there, make sure you copied the scripts to the right directory. Um, make sure that they're there. And then go ahead and try Refresh Script again. If that doesn't work, you can try Restarting GIMP. Um, if that doesn't work, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can comment below uh, or catch me on Twitch if you want to uh, talk about it live and in person. But let's say everything is good. So what you want to do is go to Image, Guide, and then click on New Guide Every X Pixels. So we want to slice our files into the Webtoon requirement, which is 800 by 1280 pixels. I like to shrink it down a little bit more than that and just go with a nice even 1000 pixels. So enter in the box 1000 pixels and click OK. All right, so now you can see your files split into uh, 10 pieces, each of them is a thousand pixels tall. Now that everything is split, you want to go to Image, Transform, and Guillotine. What that's going to do is it's going to take each of those slices and open it up in a new tab. So if you look at the top, you'll have 10 tabs up there. Uh, depending on your, you might have more. Um, now go back, close the original file because we don't need it. And then we'll have our 10 files there. So the next step is to go to File and then save all. Now this will save each of those tabs that you have open. It'll, actually, it's gonna save every single tab you have open. So make sure you don't have anything you don't want it to save open. Um, so it's gonna save all those 10 tabs out to the original directory that you had the other file open in. So make sure you know what directory that is because it's not gonna tell you anything. It's just gonna save directly to that folder. Okay, so the next step is to open up Webtoon go to your comic and then add episode. So here you add in the title, uh, the thumbnail, and then we're gonna wanna select and upload our files. So upload the files, select all 10 of the files at once, 
and then click open. It's gonna upload all the files and then go ahead and look, make sure all 10 files are there, make sure they look like they're in the right order. Uh, add your creator's note and then just hit publish episode. Now check out the episode, scroll through, everything should look fine um, and everything is good to go. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Like I said, if you have any issues, feel free to comment um, and ask any questions that you need. I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, but other than that, you're good to go. So bye.